Hello, my name is Lola, and I'm going to be reacting to Lester the Unlikely on uh, SNES by Angry Video Gamer. This, this was recommended to me by Raimi Tuati, D the Maestro, and Michael Bell. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, yeah, I've never heard of this game, never seen it, never played it. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let's check out what a uh, nerd has to say about it. Maybe it's a great game. Maybe it's decent. Maybe it sucks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's check this out. And if you want to like, comment, subscribe my channel. You can if you don't want to. That's fine, too. And uh, here we go. He's gonna take you back to that house to play the shitty game. Space. He'd rather have a buffalo. Take a diarrhea dump in his ear. He'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a rope kill thumb and down it with me. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. He's the angry Nintendo nerd. He's the angry Atari Sega nerd. What's the point? It's all gonna be dust one day. And boom! Lester the Unlikely. It's unlikely that this is gonna be a good game. <laughs> Alright. Okay, title Whoa. screen. <laughs> what the? Guy swinging on vine. Like every other jungle adventure game. Then comes the story. You're Lester, a comic book geek who wanders onto a dock and then... Ugh, oh, okay. I have no faith in this character already. If he's gonna go to sleep on a piece of cargo that's being loaded onto a ship. He becomes an involuntary stowaway. The ship's raided by pirates and Lester swims to a nearby tropical island. That's where the game begins. Now that is the most embarrassing walk cycle I've ever seen. Mm. No. What's he doing? Mm -hmm. What the hell is that about? Oh. Jump. Oh, what is he humping the air now? <laughs> oh, come on. He can't even <laughs> jump without getting hurt. This guy needs to take lessons from Mario. Mm. You're not allowed to jump from too great a height. You have to stand on the edge, face the opposite direction, and gently lower yourself down. It's tedious, and it takes a while to learn. It's not that uncommon. There were other games with a similar control scheme, like Prince of Persia, Out of This World, and Nosferatu, which all use the same style of rotoscoped animation. But this is just annoying. Half the time, Lester does things against your own will. I didn't do that! The game did! Have you ever had a game character disobey? Go near the damn turtle! Why does he keep running? What's so threatening about a fucking turtle? Run, Lester, run! Get away from that turtle! That turtle might charge really fast! I figured out that you can kill these crabs by kicking. And yes, that puny little kick is your only means of attack. Uh, Air humping, I don't know what that does. <laughs> it's like you but dancing. you can't hump the turtle. I'm trying to jump on this oh. thing, but it's not oh. working. Oh. <sighs> you can't jump on the turtle? Oh, uh. you kick it. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> Jumping on the turtle. I really oh. gotta stop thinking about Mario. <laughs> How am I supposed to get up there? Hmm, can hmm. I push the rock? Yes, I can. Get up on the rock. Okay. Uh, fuck. Let me push this fucking rock. Push the fucking rock. <laughs> Something uh, the rock. Uh, all right, this is as close as it can get. Right. Uh, oh, come on, dude. Uh, all right. right there. Come on. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Get on the fucking rock. Okay. <laughs> all right, closer. Fuck. 
It was like a Michael Jackson move. All right, get closer. Come on. Ah, fuck! Jeez, I feel like a mm. fucking dumbass. Ugh. <laughs> get up there! Almost got it. Ah. Oh. did it! <sighs> oh. oh shit, there's birds now? Uh, duck! Oh, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Let me go! Oh, I have to do the whole level all over again? This game is ass gravy. The next level's <laughs> inside a cave, and now things are becoming very labyrinth-like. On top of bad control, I don't even know where to go. Ah, oh. oh, doo-doo. <laughs> The only way to find out what's below is to drop down. Did you just down. say doo-doo? Oh. oh, come on! That time I didn't even let go. Ah, oh, you can't even jump and grab on a ledge without taking damage? You know what it is? You're just not allowed to take shortcuts. It has to be as slow and diligent as possible. What a fussy game. Oh no, why do fussy. so many games have to have bats? Ah, oh. duty! <laughs> I don't have time to climb down. This is a moment when being able to jump would be really helpful. I hate bats. I fucking hate them. Get away from me. Oh, I can outrun them. I can do it. Oh, shit. This is a penis-shaped piss stain on the face of gaming. I'd rather fuck the Wicked Witch of the West. I'd oh. rather play a CDI game, yeah. Like the flowers of Robert Maplethorpe. What? I wouldn't. What's this? I never noticed this rock before. Can I pick it up? Oh my god. Huh. Now I feel like an idiot. But I can't really blame myself. I thought the rock was just part of the scenery. How's anyone supposed to distinguish it from all this other crap? Mm -hmm. Oh great, a dead end. The rock doesn't do anything. Okay, there's a treasure chest. I'll open the lock by just ricocheting a rock against a wall. A ruby. Cool. Hmm. Wait, I can't keep both the rock and the ruby? Can we Are carry you one me? thing? You can't hold a weapon and item at the same time? Why even have two boxes then? And there we go, off to the next level. Huh. Now he's afraid of totem poles? This guy sucks. Yeah. Now we gotta jump earthquakes and fire and shit? This isn't the kind of game that should require platforming jumping skills. Once you land on a sinking platform, you're stuck. You don't even get a chance to jump back to safer ground. Jump. Man, this guy's a whip, man. No, 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 no. Jump. Oh, fucking hands, jeez. Jump. Oh, fuck. Why does he stand still? It's like he's asking to die. <laughs> After all, it's the same guy who slept on a cargo platform. Just let him die. Who wants to play as a weak, pathetic character like this? Wouldn't you rather be a tough guy? Isn't that the whole point of playing a game? To feel empowered? To be someone you're not? I mean, I get it. He's supposed to be a nerd. Well, this nerd makes me look like Charles Bronson. Steve Urkel could beat the shit out of this guy. I think this whole thing was an experiment Damn. to create the world's worst video game character. Probably, yeah. Uh... No wonder why he didn't get his own sequels. I can imagine what Lester the Unlikely 2 would have been like. The game would start and you couldn't even move. All that happens, Lester pulls down his pants, sucks his thumb, and takes a shit. <laughs> the third game, you couldn't even get past the title screen. All that happens, <laughs> you push start, and Lester falls down and farts. <laughs> the fourth game doesn't even work at all. 
you just put it in your Super Nintendo and it explodes. The fifth game isn't even a game, it's just a bag of shit that says Lester the Unlikely Five on it. <laughs> and there's a new one coming on the PS4 using the latest state-of-the-art technology of constructing the disc out of orangutan diarrhea. Just turned out that was the only way, and it really gives Blu-ray a run for its money. And the original Lester will always be a classic that's improved like wine. Wine that's made from fermented rat piss with a fine aroma of the dead fly-swarmed carcass of a three-day-old deer. With the delicate, crisp flavor of skunk farts with highlights of ass sweat, the palate is rich with hints of residual dried poop crust from a truck stop bathroom. Goes down with a long-lasting finish of fly-covered summer harbor trash. Fuck this game. And you know what? Fuck all games. I'm gonna watch some TV. Man, dude, you need to get yourself a new TV. Man. Man. TV nowadays sucks. <laughs> Just go stare at static. Yeah, man, like... Like, I mean, like, like look at Peter Parker. He's a nerd. But... You know, he's got powers. Um, he does things that most of us would have been like, nope. <laughs> like, you know, like swimming, swinging from heights and taking out bad guys. Uh, you know, um, imagine if Peter Parker was like that, just like, you know, just being on top of a building, uh, looking over the, the edge and being like, nope, <laughs> just game over. Like, what the, what? And he is right. That's the whole point of playing video games, man. You know, being somebody that you're not, you know, doing things that doing things that, you know, you normally wouldn't do, you know, uh, in your normal day to day life, you know, or, you know, just to have fun, you know, uh, you know, games like Mario and Sonic and Spyro, you know, like. Imagine if all the characters were, if all those characters were like that. They would be just as unlikable as Lester, man. It's, it's just so messed up, man. <laughs> and the noises that he makes when he dies, like, ooh, ooh. And that whole, like, you know, like, oh, he sees something coming at him. And then just runs the opposite direction, like. And you're not even controlling him. He just does that on his own. Like, what the? No, I mean, have you seen those videos of snapping turtles? Like, man, those those you don't want to mess with, man. <laughs> uh, especially if you get too close. Like, their neck is just like they just they just they just jump at you like a like a snake, man. Like just like <laughs> it's creep. It's freaky, yo. Uh, I, I do kind of get what they were kind of going towards, you know, trying to make him relatable, but. Uh, they just like they just like went too far with it, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my reaction to Lester the Unlikely on the SNES by Angry Video Game Nerd. And uh, everyone, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.